a warning signal to North Korea from U.S. and South Korean forces. The combined precision firing military exercises, a direct response to this. What North Korea says is its first successful launch of an ICBM, or intercontinental ballistic missile. Celebrations in the streets of Pyongyang as state television broadcast the news. Kim Jong-un called it a gift to Americans celebrating the 4th of July Independence Day holiday. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson confirmed the missile was an ICBM and said it represents a new escalation of the threat to the United States. The U.S. called for an emergency meeting of the U.N. Security Council. The latest American and South Korean military drills were in direct response to the launch, but the countries also hold massive joint exercises every year. Meeting in Moscow, the presidents of Russia and China called for both sides of the conflict to take a step back. Parallel freezing of nuclear missile activity of North Korea and large-scale joint drills of the USA and the Republic of Korea. South Korea's President Moon Jae-in said North Korea's serious provocation required a reaction beyond just a statement, and the U.S. military said the missile system used in the joint exercises can be rapidly deployed and engaged. South Korea's unification ministry says it still wants a peaceful resolution on the peninsula. But the missile drills also appear to send the message that North Korea's neighbor can also use force if necessary. If North Korea ignores our military's warning and continues provocations, we clearly warn that Kim Jong-un's regime will face destruction. North Korea's state media reports that Kim Jong-un told his officials the U.S. would not have been happy with what he called their 4th of July gift and warned there are more gift bags, large and small, to come. Kathy Novak, Al Jazeera, Seoul.